Hi Jody, how's it going? This is Hundo with Cellcom Chrysler. Now, I want you to know first off, no, it did not rain in Edmonton. I just gave this thing a rinse because I really want you to see how nice this red is, okay? You're talking about roses? Well, I think we got some roses right here. Okay, now this is the 23. This is our Jeep Compass Limited. This is actually what's known as, sorry, the Altitude Package. Sorry, my apologies, not limited. Altitude. Altitude, it's a very sought after package. Really nice, we have them in our Grand Cherokees as well. They seem to sell out quick. And if you notice, a lot of things nowadays you're finding kind of blacked out, blacked out. So why should this be any different? This is the Altitude, which gives you the nice blacked out decals, the badging, the hood, the grill, obviously the rims. This one's a two-tone. How sweet does that look? I'll give you a nice side angle. Two-tone and that red, it really, really sets it off. But anyway, this is a beautiful vehicle. Now to start off on the front end, believe it or not, why do all Jeeps have seven slots? It's because there's seven continents. And I'm not even just saying that, that's actually why they're there. Just to remind you, this thing can go anywhere, okay? Um, now, we do have LED lights. We do have our regular halogen lights. You'll see that there is a radar right there as well. Now, what I like too is they kind of black out the, uh, the side mirrors on the altitudes as well. Really, really nice. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but the Compass has had the title for a long time of having the best fuel economy on a 4x4 compact SUV. Okay. Um, now this one particularly just so you know has lots of nice goodies. So we got the automatic start stop. Okay. So we got the car starter. We also have the power tailgate. Tons of space in here. Okay. So if you can kind of get an idea, I'm 6'2". Literally it's probably coming up to just above my knees. Um, really, really easy entry height to get into. Now obviously we do have our spare tire underneath as well. Now, this one particularly, there's a nice interior, by the way. Beautiful. Um, you can fold these, uh, uh, the second row completely flat as well, just so you have an idea. And just so people know that you have a Jeep, you have a little decal on the back. Um, but no, seriously, this one is such a nice vehicle. Like, if you look at the inside, it's not only, you know, have the leather, but you have the perforations in the middle too. So really, really good for summertime when it's like 45 degrees like it is today. Um, but nice leather interior. Now, obviously, you're going to have some tech, right? So first off, we have a nice plug-in down there. We have our USB and USB-C and this nice kind of gloss black with the vents in the back. So everyone is definitely going to be comfortable. Now, remember all these speakers that you're going to find, okay? Because this thing's got a pretty decent sound system. There's the nice, beautiful panoramic sunroof. Kind of makes that whole black top look really, really well. So we have the upgraded Alpine sound system and they've come a long way since 2013 on the journey okay we do have power seat on the uh, driver's side the ma uh, manual adjustment for the passenger uh, but we do have lumbar as well over here okay now I'm gonna move this back a bit because this is where and by the way if you hear a noise when I was outside it's I have the AC literally on full blast okay <laughs> What is it showing? I think it was showing like uh, 27 degrees. Yeah, okay, sure there. Um, let me turn this down a bit. Okay, so nice leather wrapped steering wheel. This is all new design, eh, in, in 22. Um, but thankfully, I mean, Compass has been around for a long time. So, I mean, there's lots of uh, reliability. And, and when it comes to just overall functionality, these are hard to beat. So tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And yes, Jody, that is a digital dash okay so compass has definitely grown up uh from the yesteryears but nice leather on the top here as well like everything just feels really really nice um, and on top of that the fit and finish kind of gaps between the buttons everything is super tight nice tech and look at this i'm six two i am now at the bottom and i still have tons of space okay um we have air conditioning obviously um we do have our usb and a usb c on the bottom there if you do notice it's got this super cool start stop button right here um this one particularly too you got the heated steering wheel you have the heated seats on this nice 10 inch 
touchscreen display navigation just so you know the new navigation system that dodge uses it's uh the software they use is actually tom tom so i don't know if you've ever you know if you know any class one drivers a lot of them are going to use either tom tom or garmin just because it's got the most detailed maps of places that your regular gps just won't have now there's a lot of different modes. You can go 3D mode, north, south, etc. Um, and to search things, it is so simple. It's not like the old Uconnect, okay? I'm not trying to harp on your vehicle. I know there was already a big service bill. I'm not trying to be that guy. But man, is it so much easier because those old ones really sucked, okay? I'm not even gonna lie. Customer told me to pair their old like Grand Caravan the other day and I'm like, I could not even get the Bluetooth to work. Like it was like a 2000 and what, 15, 2014? Um, but this is the newest version of your Uconnect, okay? So it's very, very well improved. Now, obviously, if you wanna put an address in, it's very simple, okay? Southtown, that's all I did, it took me two seconds. Southtown Dodge, great, I'm ready to go in my directions. Carry your phone, it's even easier. Okay, now the nice thing on this one too is with the Alpine sound system, it actually gets grown up a little bit. So if you notice, oh, surround sound wasn't even on. So I'm gonna put surround sound on. So now you got sound coming all over the place like you were in your home theater. Okay, let's see if we can find a station. I'm a little old school to be honest. Kind of like some uh, classic rock. Really nice sound system. Okay, when it comes to the backup camera, there's your backup camera. You can hit a zoom button and voila. If you want to do any kind of small towing or small trailer that you want to tow, you can definitely do so. This is very fresh, by the way, 25 kilometers. And just so you know, you can customize the screen. You can go all over the place, okay? You can get different kind of, uh, what is this? Uh, this is going to be your... Uh, four-wheel drive system so you can put it on your auto which you can do over here or you can display your uh, radio stations but also you have your selector right here so sand mud snow and auto you still have your four-wheel drive lock button so this is still a proper four by four just in a nice package uh, we do have an electronic parking brake as well and if you notice the kind of uh, leather continues on in the front you get the perforations in the middle and again, really, really nice. But that panoramic roof, it just lets a lot of nice natural light in, okay? Um, alrighty, we do have a plus minus mode if you wanna do some shifting on the fly yourself. And if you are going on long drives, they've actually dedicated a button just to turn it off, right? So you're not kind of blinded. You know, I've made some runs to Fort Mac and Calgary, and sometimes when it's just dead in the night and you're on a you know road uh, that's nowhere, it's kind of nice to not have a glaring screen in your face. Okay. Now I did say this thing is great on fuel, but it's also decently peppy. And that's my seatbelt, by the way. Let me put that on. But yeah, no, obviously your Bluetooth, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, like it's all gonna be in your apps over here. I mean, you have absolutely everything you need. So just in case, you know what? I don't think it's gonna happen, but if you don't like this navigation system, they spent tons and tons of money on developing, um, plug in your phone, use Google's, okay? Use uh, iPhones. Very, very nice, very simple. Now, just so you know, this does have the collision mitigation as well. It's got the so what that means, and I'll let you know just because I know you have a 13, is collision mitigation, if this vehicle senses an oncoming collision, it will stop for you if you cannot, okay? Now, does that mean that you should stop paying attention? Absolutely not. Um, but does that mean that you're gonna make use of it every day? Absolutely not, <laughs> okay? Realistically, I think the benefit, if you're gonna use it, that's great. I'm happy if you use these kind of tools, but if not, it's good for the insurance because it's definitely less of a risk, right? So don't let your uh, insurance adjust your plane and games. Um, now, other than that, it's very quiet, very quiet, very easy to drive. Brakes feel tight, but they don't feel like, uh, I don't know how to describe, like, you know, when you are kind of iffy about the modulation of the brake of how hard you have to press to get your braking result. This one's very smooth. Um, and the steering, very smooth. 
feels tight, so it's still got decent handling. Now, is it going to go win some grand touring tracks and, and, you know, rip up some lap times? Absolutely not. <laughs> but you're going to be able to drive this thing around not only with some style, but at the same time, reliability. Low cost of ownership. Like, this is going to have a full five-year warranty, obviously, 100,000 kilometers. And you're going to have your three-year or 60,000 um, bumper-to-bumper warranty and roadside assistance. So, I mean, you are covered, but it's the little things, right? It's reliability. It's when it comes to, you know, you don't want to sacrifice utility because we are in Alberta, right? And Edmonton. You don't want to sacrifice utility for that reliability. So it's kind of a nice mix of everything combined. Uh, but let me know what you think. Let me know if my pick is on the button or if I am completely wrong. 780-932-7597. Thanks so much, Jody.